Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikhil Satpute. Today we are going to study about different types of lines and numbering which we use in drawing. So we'll just uh, write the title at the top. For that uh, we will draw two parallel lines with a height of 1 cm. and between that we will write the title of our drawing that is types of line drawing is all about accuracy the distance the height should be proper between all the words which you write between the words between the letters the distance the height should remain proper now we'll draw a table consisting of four columns now whatever i write inside this columns should everything you will write within a 5 mm height that is 0.5 cm so i am drawing two parallel lines in between that i'll write whatever i want to write so in first column i am writing serial number the height is 0.5 cm So first column is serial number second is line type third is representation the spacing matters the spacing and the height should be same so for that we have drawn two parallel thin lines of height 0.5 cm first type of line which we will study now as you can see i am drawing parallel lines at a height of 0.5 cm first is continuous thin line it is a thin line it is used for visible outline of section surface and uh, mostly used for as reference lines of projection lines those are called as reference lines or projection lines second is continuous thick line it is a dark thin thick line lines which are visible and the image or the diagram which should be visible it should be drawn with thick line it has a visible outlines or lines of special importance third is dashed medium line now this line is a dashed line but you should keep in mind that the distance matters here one dash is of 4 mm with a gap of 2 mm again 4 mm line with a gap of 2 mm line so you have to be specific with that those lines are used as hidden lines or edges
next one is chain thin line now here the distance really matters there are dash lines the distance should be 8 to 10 mm for long then the dot should be around 2 mm and the gap should be 2 mm those are used as center lines specifically between the circle semicircle and also for the lines of symmetry you should not do one line big and one line small it should be accurate and every line should be as it is the distance of other next one is chain thick line here also the distance matters a lot it just but the bigger version the long dash is 10 to 12 mm then the gap is 3 mm and the dot is 3 mm it is used as a cutting plane line next one is continuous free hand so some of the places where the surface is irregular you have to show a ground surface there we use free hand next seventh one is continuous zigzag line here also you should keep in mind that the distance and the height should be consistent this is used for long break lines if you have a long distance long break lines thank you everyone subscribe like to my channel see you in the next video